Hello there and welcome to the grid and unix section and here we're going to basically be learning just about uh, the grid in the 3d viewport and uh, the different kind of units we can use and uh, how we're going to use them to achieve accurate measurements in our characters and objects. So let's begin. Uh, by default if you look in the scene tab here blenders units are set to none and uh, if you build a cube, so the default cube, a blender will make it 2x2x2, two by two by two. so that is 2 and x, 2 and y, and 2 and z. This being the origin, there's up one unit in z, there's down one unit in z, those are the two units, same with x, same with y. Switch to metric or imperial, see the dimensions of the bounding box update. The bounding box is basically an invisible box here that encompasses your entire mesh, regardless of the shape of your mesh, it will always fit inside of this box. I like to work in metric, and it's almost the same as none. You see, the units are basically almost the same. A little bonus about working in metric or imperial, if you notice up here. If you decide to scale the grid, it will update with what you're using, whether it's metric or imperial. And here, if you look up in the corner, You'll see I'm working in half a feet now because I switched the scale to 0.5. I'm going to go back to metric because that's what I work in. And this is really important because you can snap your objects to exact measurements. For example, I could use this to make something that is. 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters. And as you can see, let's get rid of that grid for a second. It realigned the shape of my object. And this is what we're going to be using along with the transforms here to get exact locations. If you go into edit mode, and select a vert or a group of verts. Make sure you're in global, not local. You'll notice here Z is at 0.75. And you'll notice that this one should be at negative 75 centimeters. We'll go back to object mode. 75 and 75 is one and a half. And that's this. So this is very, very useful. Um, to size your your characters to a certain size, and it will update an object uh, in the object mode. Uh, for example, I want to bring these up to zero on the Z. So now, this object should only be 75 centimeters on the Z. And if you look, there it is. 